Aloha, it's Matthew. And I'm back with some more fall nail designs. Um, last night, <laughs> my boyfriend's dog picked out Don't Be Suspicious from the Orly Plot Twist collection, the this year's fall collection. And so I put that on my nails last night, and then I also painted up a a set of tips we can work with today. Um, on my last couple videos, I keep forgetting to say that um, to lock in any of this stamping, especially stuff with fine lines, uh, you need to use the smudge-free top coat. Um, otherwise, when you go to put on like a quick dry top coat or a matte top coat, you'll smudge the design. This is oil-based versus solvent-based, which, you know, all these other polishes are solvent based and if you put a standard top coat on you will reactivate what's underneath um, so I'm gonna go through today and hit these ones first because I want to try out my different shiny fall colored stuff on a solid creme polish and then that's gonna help me decide what I want to put on my accent nails. So let's get started. Um, okay, so the plate that I'm using today is Maniology M424, and I know I've already used this on a video, but uh, I am loving it. I'm loving the designs on here, and specifically this uh, like leaf garland border here. The last time I used this, I had said that I wanted to use this one, but since there was no solid, like these are all solid designs here, outline solid. Since there's no solid on this side, I said, oh, I'll just use this one. But it occurred to me later on after I made the video that I can put this down and then pick up anywhere else I want and just add it solid next to it. So let's see if I can make that work. And then also, the last time I used this one, I tried using the Fallen Flake Taco from Hollow Taco, and um, I painted it on and totally obscured the design underneath. So my idea for today is I'm going to try glitter placement and try and literally scatter on so, like it's like the last leaves that are hanging on to the, the barren tree. That's the idea for the look. So let's get started. Um, for the biggest nail design here, I'm going to go with the tree. And this one, I think I'm just gonna do um, in, oh gosh, the, uh, I think I'm gonna do it in artichoke. This is B499, and it came in the September Manny by Me box. So it was early release in the, the box, but uh, it should come to the website. Oh yeah, and then this set here, um, I don't remember the name of the set, and I'm missing a sticker too. Oh no! <laughs> so, um... Well, this is a collection that is on uh, Maniology's website, and I will, I think it might have been like the desert something. Um, I'll look it up, and I'll put it in the in the um, details of the video. This alocasia was really the one that I wanted. It's a really deep green, but then there's, oh yeah, there it is. There's a gold shimmer inside. So let's start by swatching. Oh, someone's throwing things. Let's start by swatching those three out. And in order to do that, I want a plate right here. Okay, so I'm gonna use M285 because I've decided that any collections that I get, I wanna swatch with the same pattern or design and then that way I know it's a collection um, but that's just me being particular uh, 
you can put whatever you want on top to swatch it out. So there's a card. I got some acetone and cotton balls here to clean up my plate. And I'm gonna need some stampers, cotton ball grabber, stampers, and a cotton ball grabber. Maniology has a cuter one that has a pineapple on the end, but I got mine off of Amazon for cheap, so you can get a two-pack on Amazon for cheap, or you can get a cute one from Maniology with a pineapple. Um, all right, so let's get that set aside. And I think the design that I'm going to choose for this set is going to be, uh, let's just do this big boomerang kidney bean thing. Um, so it comes with this solid unknown polish. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that the sticker had fallen off and I might have already thrown out the box. Um, so here goes unknown desert color. Gets a nice terracotta creme. Mm, I'm going to redo that. So uh, it's been mentioned that on the bigger open solid designs on that, you have to be careful how you scrape. Do you see how my card, when it clipped off the edge there and went over the design, it, it actually it, it uh, scraped out the polish from the design, and we don't want that. So let's just rinse it off and uh, try this again. And by rinse it off, I mean use acetone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that another thing that they said is that if you scrape, like there's more solid on this way than going that way. I don't, I don't know if those words I used just made sense, but here we go again <laughs> for unknown desert color. Uh, when I put the name of the collection in the comments, I will also put, that's a better scrape. I'll also put the name of this polish. I'm just going to pick up the stuff that I don't want on my polish lid. And... Mm. There we go. It, um, although it's beginning to transition into autumn here, it's still hot out. Uh, I live in Hawaii, if you don't know. So um, it's basically perpetually summer. So it's kind of funny. It's really hard to get into these fall nail colors because there's really no fall season here. There are only a handful of trees. I think I can only think of two that actually like change the color of their leaves and drop them at this time of year. But then they just regrow another set because uh, it's still hot enough to, to support growth in life here. It's not, um, it's not like a dormant winter season. You know what I mean? Um, most other trees are just here are like constant shedders. What do we have here? Cozy B350. Uh, so they're constantly dropping leaves, seed pods, all this kind of stuff. And then they just do it all throughout the year. Oh yeah, you guys. I figured this one would look really good on this chocolate base. Okay. And I think I'm, oh yeah. Get that stuff we don't want. Uh-huh. And then we're going to get that on there. Goodness. 
It just keeps trying to peel up. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. I guess I gotta be less chit chatty and more fast. Gotta be fast kind. Let's uh let's clean that out and try it again. Hopefully on that third polish I'll get it on the first try, you guys. Um But you I hope you got a good idea of like how beautiful this one is. Just look at that. Makes me think of like um Christmas ornaments kind of. Okay, there's that, pick it up, get rid of those, swatch it on. There we go. Okay, just got to be a little quicker. Okay. Oh yeah, and that's really nice and opaque, can you see that? When it, there it goes, when it catches the light, beautiful. Cozy B350. Now these were all released at separate times. Um, I'm pretty sure this alocasia came in as an early release in um, an old Manny by Me kit. And let's... Uh, Okay, clean that plate again. Okay, trying to get all that golden shimmer off so that it doesn't interact with this next color because this next color has its own golden shimmer. It's a nice deep green with a much more subtle shimmer than that last one. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I mean, I can see the gloss of it, but I can't. Hmm, maybe it'll look different on the nail. It doesn't look very shimmery. I can't seem to get it to catch the light for the camera. Just looks, oh, there it is. That's like a totally different color. See that green and then boom, gold, gold reflection. But it's almost like a, it's like muted because like when you're looking at it head on, it almost looks like it's just solid green with no color. And then when it catches the light, there it goes. There's like a flash of color. That's really pretty. So, okay. So we got them all swatched. I'm gonna get rid of this plate. I'll clean it up more thoroughly later on before I put it away. Okay. And let's just clean off this stamper head and get designing on these nail tips. Okay. So, now, for the big one, I think I want to do this tree. And then I'm going to try that same tree on my nail and um i'm gonna try with the toothpick i guess i could try the glitter placement on the tip and then if i hate it then i could just skip it on my nail um but the color for the tree is from another collection here it's this is skin deep b325 this is from the naturel line um, I got the six shade set and it's like 
browns, pinks, neutrals. Um, mm, yeah, I think because this has the slightest bit of sheerness to it, a little bit of translucency, so putting it over the dark brown is going to give... Um, this is a real pinky toned brown, but I think that the, um, the dark brown underneath will play with the color. So let's scrape it. Oh Lord. Oh, it picked up. Cool. Okay, and I wanted to go from this tip. Oh, can you see that? I want to go from the pointed tip up that way. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on now. There we go. There's the focus. Oh yeah. So, um, there's that first one, uh, nice and subtle. Okay. So then the next ones we're going to go with some shiny stuff. So let's do, um, I'm fond of this falling leaf gradient. Let's give that a whirl with this uh, really bright golden one. And we'll do that on the index finger. So, after, um, after I finish up this video, I am, oh, this is kind of a gloopy polish. I have some thinner, so it might need some later on, but for now, that's what I'm working with. Right, so, um, after today's video, I'm running into town because I, um, my ex finally sent back is part of the paperwork for our divorce. Oh, I hope I was totally off screen doing that one. So when you do a gradient like that, you can um, add in the ones that didn't stick. If you wanna, um, well, they're done sticking now. <laughs> but if you want to thicken up the design or put something toward the tip that didn't stick prior, if you move quickly enough, you can get them off your stamper and add to that. Falling leaf gradient. So that's fun. A couple of these ones at the tip kind of just look like crumbles, but that's all right. I wonder if that uh, gloopy polish has something to do with that pickup on that one. Um, let me grab a new piece of tape here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go file the last of that paperwork. And um, this is from like, we haven't lived together in over seven years. Like, well, and it's all amiable. We um, still talk and chat. It's just, now it's just a matter of the, getting the paperwork done. So that's cool. Kind of uh, closing that chapter in my life and moving on to a new one. On this nail, I want to do um, where is, okay, artichoke. This is a really fun one. I want to do artichoke and I want to do, I think I'm gonna aim for this outline one. It's outline leaves. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm wondering, <laughs> so I said it's still hot here, right? So 
So the fan running at the door too. Um, usually I face it out to vent out, you know, keep the air moving in here so that there's the nail polish and the acetone fumes don't build up. But I had it blowing in today, trying to cool me down, but um, I wonder if that was just drying out the polish too quickly. Mm -hmm. This artichoke color, it looks really green in the bottle, but when you um, scrape it out thin, you get this beautiful golden, golden yellow green. It's just, it's beautiful. Okay, and so we're going to go right there. Sorry guys, I'm trying to learn how to line that up so you can see and I can see <laughs> what I'm doing. Okay, press that on. All right, that is gorgeous. That is just so elegant in my opinion. I, oh, I just, sorry, <laughs> I was mesmerized. Okay, um, that artichoke is definitely one to pick up if you, if you like the look of that. Um, this one is called It's Lit B262, and it came from a Christmas collection, or a, th a th group of three polishes that are Christmassy, but um, I think that that yellow golden hue will look great on this chocolate and for this I'm gonna do um, this one over here this the leaves are half solid half outline and that's a fun design okay Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's scrape it. Pick it up. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's see here. All right. Those are in the wrong hands. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. If I can do it just like that. I mean, that's a lot along the same lines, but it's a brighter gold. It's more like a um, champagne-y gold, a bright yellow gold versus this one, which is a more, um, it's a more green gold. But I think both of those look stellar on this. Don't be suspicious. Okay. And we are down to the final nail for the tips. And I think I want to do just this simple design. This little simple open leaf. Can you even see that? That one. Just a little simple, you know, because these ones are, I say they're elegant, but they are also a little flashy being super sparkly like that. So... I think, oh, and then I had grabbed this one too, um, Ginger Snap B409. That's a relatively new one. I think it was from last Christmas, maybe. Um, but I think that a uh, bright, <coughs> excuse me, a bright orangey gold. Will look nice. Okay. Scrape. Oh my gosh, you guys. Mm. Okay, I waited too long. 
I didn't clean up either one of my scrapers in between. So I had two dirty scrapers I was looking at after I scraped the, or two dirty stampers <laughs> after I scraped the polish. All right, let's just try this again. You know, with those thin outline ones, you gotta move rapidly. Simply because, I mean, there's just so little polish there, it dries really rapidly. Okay, so let's get that cleared out. I think it's time for a new cotton ball and some fresh acetone. When I go into town today, I'm also gonna treat myself and buy a acetone with a pump on the top. If you were around for, uh, I think it was yesterday's video, I catastrophe struck. And I finally did what I thought was a risk and I tipped my acetone to wet a cotton ball and it just splashed all over the work surface here. Just everywhere. Um, no fun. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. There's that. Okay. Let's scrape it. Right. And we got the stamper right handy. And pick up that because we don't want it on there. And then I'm just going to go just in the middle. You know, and you can line this up anywhere you want. You could have it look like it's growing out of the tip or coming out of the base or even going um, horizontally across the nail. Just simple, elegant. Let's take a look at those. All right. Okay, so now we got some real fingers to work with. Um, so, like I said, for the, um, for this leaf garland design, I had already done it before, and so I'm gonna try using, um, oh, you know what? I'll use nameless, nameless desert terracotta color as the, um, so the idea behind this was that I wanted to do a solid set in the background. So let's go here, right? So scrape it, pick it up. Mm-hmm. And I didn't put any kind of cuticle protector on, whoops. So we're going right there. Okay. So that's background. Okay. So that's like the background, uh, got a little bit of that leaf that didn't take, but that's okay because it's going to be in the background. So the idea is that we're going to put this shinier one in front and we're going to do two pulls on it because I want this, this outline part, I want to be central, right? And so this outline plus this bit is going to be right on, am I out of the frame? I want that to be central, so I'm going to put it right in the middle and have this bit covered by this solid, and then I'll grab one of these, maybe this oak here, and do it on that side to, um, or maybe these little, this little three things, since there's already an oak over there. We'll see. Let's find out. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so then the bright color that I want in front of that, I think I'm gonna go for artichoke. Um, I mean the shiny color, not the bright color. Okay, so 
I want that little dot that's up there. Mm hmm Okay. Scrape it. Pick it up. Okay. And so then, see if I can get it up here so you guys can see. I want that one right in the middle. So we're going on top like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And where's, I'm looking for that little cuticle. I wonder if I can use a piece of tape. If it's had a second to dry, sometimes tape will take it right off your cuticle rather than um, needing a cleanup brush. Yeah, I think I'm good there. I think that's looking nice. Um, and then I'm gonna put a solid on that side which will cover up that little mistake and the solid that I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the um, maple leaf, that one there. And I'm Hoping, mm, I don't know that it turned out how I was envisioning the, um, that terracotta color is, um, pretty bold. So I think I wanted something more muted in the background. Um, maybe like boba or one of those other dark browns. I think that's what I wanted, I just didn't know it. And so I'm gonna clean up that little edge because it, otherwise it's just gonna go onto my cuticle. And then we're stamping on this side. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Well, I mean, there are leaves and they're overlapping, but I don't know if it actually like looks how I envisioned, but now I know. Let's put that down against the nail. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a little tape and just go for this stuff on the side. Yeah, see if I can pick it up. Cool. Okay. I think it looks nice. There are leaves. There are two colors there. Well, obviously the third is the base, but, you know, two colors on the design. And I think it looks, um... I think it looks nice in fall. So, um, in order for that to not smudge, I'm going to use the smudge-free base top coat. Um, I didn't use it on the tips because no one's going to wear those tips. And, um, I feel like that would just be, um, a waste of the product. Okay. So that's good and covered. Okay. And then, oh, you know what? I bet would really bring out the design. And I had considered, yeah. I think I'm gonna go with a matte top coat, you guys. Um. Okay, let's get I'm gonna try the um the glitter placement on the nail tip and see how well that works because if it doesn't work, I don't want to have two disappointing nail designs on my t on my own fingers, so let's drop some of that. 
um, Fallen Flake Taco, right? And then I'm grabbing a toothpick, and I'm just gonna grab, like, individual shards. And I wanna actually place them, like, on the tree part. It seems a little tedious. And I didn't put any smudge free top coat. So I hope that these tr this doesn't screw with it. So the idea is the last time I just brushed it on, right? And it just, the fallen flake taco just took over, right? So the idea is that the tree still has just some leaves that are hanging on. Because, you know, it's what it looks like during the fall, right? Some trees have a few leaves that will cling on longer than the rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not going everywhere because trees like that that I described will have patches that are completely dropped there okay I'm going to stop there I was really focused and concentrated. I hope I was on uh, <laughs> in the shot there for you guys. Okay, so now that's a little bit lumpy, so I'm gonna take the smudge free top coat. See if I can um, just smooth things out a little. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so that is that is what I was looking for. That is what I was looking for. Like there's just some leaves scattered throughout the tree. Um and let's see. Huh, the top coat got a little hazy. Oh no, it's clearing up now. I guess it was just part while it was drying. Okay, let me grab Okay, so there's that. And that's with it all being glossy, but I think that the gloss, since it's kind of lumpy, is detracting from things. So let's hit it with. Okay. Sorry, I don't want to put too many layers on while it's still trying to figure out what it's doing. Um, oh, goodness. There are crusties. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Why I'm painting the nail backwards, I could not tell you. And also, I thought I was doing it pretty gently, but I moved a flake way up top there. I don't think anyone will call it out. All right, there we go. That's on screen. That Look at that. That's what I was looking for. Just a few leaves left up in the tree. 
I think that's a beautiful nail. Okay. Hmm. I'm wondering if that smudge-free top coat, sometimes the, the plastic that's in tips will react funny with like alcohol or something that's in a top coat. See how that's kind of foggy? I don't know if it's translating on camera. Yeah, there's definitely some fog there where these ones are really clear and shiny. Um, well, dang. When it was wet and shiny, wet and glossy, it looked really pretty, but there's um, something happening. And I found it's like an interaction, like when you do um, swatch tips, like plastic swatch tips, sometimes they will dry funny like that. Uh, it's just like an interaction with the plastic and the, um, the polish. So, let's... Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to pick a different um, design for this finger. That way we can get even more designs looked at. And I think I'm going to go with this uh, ginger snap. And I'm going to do the tree that's dropping, or the tree branch that's dropping leaves on this nail. Mm-hmm. I don't even think I have to go all the way to the base because, um, well, let's just put them in there. Those leaves, I don't think they're going to make it on my nail. My nail's not as long as this design. Okay. There's that. And give it a scrape. Pick it up. Okay. Get that off there. That off there. All right. Let's see if I can put it on here and you guys can see what's happening. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to disconnect that from the design. I was just being really quick and lazy, you guys, and not putting on um, liquid latex. That would have been a, the cleanest way to grab that, or to, to easiest way to clean that up. But being that it's like super hot and everything here is um, drying really quickly, I thought that that would work just fine. And there's a little break in the branch. I'm going to take... I'm going to take my toothpick and see if I can just dot in that little bit. Right there. I didn't even know that anybody would have noticed that, but uh, it would have bothered me. <laughs> Okay, so, um, that's right, I said on mine I want to do a matte top coat, so let me just make some room here. I don't know if you guys have this thing happen to you too, but everything starts encroaching in on your work surface. Okay, so, I'm going to, first I'm going to hit this with the smudge free top coat so that I don't smudge. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, as that dries, I'm going to, sorry about that, here it is. I think I'm gonna put a matte top coat on all of my nails. And, I 
usually start with I usually like to start with painting my right hand first with my non-dominant hand because that's easier to deal with. Okay, so let me just clear the set here. There we go. Okay. And let's hit this with a matte top coat. I think it's gonna, um, I think it is gonna make this chocolate brown just pop. And if you've never used a matte top coat before, it's recommended that you seal in your Manny with a, um, a glossy top coat first and then hit it with the matte after, which is what I did last night. I put on that um, Don't Be Suspicious and um, then I sealed it in with Orly Shining Armor. Okay. I'm thinking Matt is definitely looking really good on this. If you've never tried a matte top coat on, um, oh, sorry about the neighbor's dog barking. Sometimes they just really get going. Ooh, got a little heavy with my top coat. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right, that's looking great right there. Look at that. So that um, when you put a matte top coat over um, shiny or pearlescent or glittery things, you still keep that luster, but the gloss is gone. I think I might need a little bit more. Sorry, I'm just trying to talk solid to cover up the sound of that dog and um, I don't think it is working. Oh, no, there's my dog. <laughs> okay. Let's get this wrapped up. Oh my gosh. Sandra is our um, security dog. If a pedestrian walks by, or especially if a cyclist goes by, she makes sure to let him know. Um, it's funny because our neighborhood, um, not all of the roads are paved. I know that might sound like a foreign idea, but, um, they're, they're just not all paved, right? They're gravel on most of them, but there are a few through streets that are paved from one, our neighborhood is like four miles wide and then it's like from the top of the highway all the way down to the ocean so it's like um 30 35 blocks or something like that and um they're just not all of them are um paved and ours is so people will actually drive down from neighboring streets and walk on ours and exercise, bike, and do all those things because we have a paved road. Um, oh yeah, you guys, that matte top coat changes everything. Especially this one, I was unpleased with how it had originally looked, but putting that matte top coat on just, yeah, totally changed it.
and um And normally I try and be a little bit cleaner on the edges because um, it's annoying to have that little bit of shine and gloss, but nobody's going to be getting that close to my nails to look at that. I think that that is it, you guys. So there's the look on my nails. And then um, here, let me hit this ugly foggy one <laughs> let me just hit it with a matte top coat and see if that helps anything it might look better while it's um while it's still glossy and wet get rid of that haze or add to it I don't know because the whole idea of a matte top coat right is that it's gonna dull everything out I don't know if there's any rescuing it yeah there's that fog again it's something about the interaction of some polishes with nail tips um, I don't know science right so there's the tree Hmm, maybe, maybe the matte top coat is working. It's looking better than the fog. And you can see the little, little bits of leaves. Here, I'm going to do this. Hang on to your seats, I'm going to zoom. Okay. Yeah, look at that. See how there's just like random sparkly leaves in the tree still? That was the idea. And it actually turned out looking really cute, I think, with that matte top coat. It's a winner. And then there's the cozy. And then that's the artichoke. And then this one is it's lit. And then that one is the ginger snap, I think. Um, that one. Let's take a zoomed in look at my nails. Don't go crazy on my cuticles. Oh, they're not that bad when they're zoomed in that much. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, so look at that leaf design. So we got solids in the back. We got outlines and solids in the front. A couple little dots and circles up top, a little, little leafy. And then this one, uh-huh. Yeah, that's cute. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you liked my content, go ahead and um, like my video. Let's zoom out. Like it. Subscribe to my channel. And um, leave a comment and let me know which one of the sparkly ones is your favorite. Which one of the shiny polishes is your favorite. All right. Bye.